Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. I'd like to answer a few questions in the beginning of this video that we get asked a lot. The primary reason for shooting squirrels is they are regarded as pests here in the UK and not the game animal that they are in the US. There are links in the description explaining why that is so. I get to read a lot of comments on our vids and many ask, what do you do with the bodies afterwards? Do you even eat them? And such like. In the early days, the local scavengers like foxes and badgers used to get them. But these days we try to utilise them because they are a resource as well as an undesirable pest. We have eaten them ourselves, but for the last few years we've been supplying scouts for them to eat. If you've watched all of our vids, you have seen a scout group in one doing just that. We now have another group who are a lot closer to us wanting them now. So the first part of this video has some footage sent to me by a good friend who runs the local scout group that goes the whole hog and skins and cooks them as part of their meetings. The children really enjoy learning how to process an animal for food. It's all too easy to see meat and not connect it to the once living creature that it came from, especially when it's wrapped in cellophane from the supermarket. They have survival skills activity badge that this helps them with, which I've supplied a link in the description to if you want to read what they have to do for it in total. I was supplied an awful lot of video by them. I've chopped it down just to give you an idea what they get up to. You can see on this table lots of bits of squirrel meat. And this was intended for my squirrel sausage project, but I figured their need was greater. Cornflakes and. Yeah. Oh, you need to share the lead, Is this a squirrel? Yeah. Cornflakes and squirrel. It's called popcorn squirrel. Oh, cool. Top quality combination. Who came up with that? That's a good question from the young scout. They're using a recipe that comes from Rob Collins, the old hedge creeper. Andy from Andy's Range, the first guest this year, has done an excellent video on how to do it. The link will be in the description to that. It's actually Southern Fry Popcorn Squirrel. I purchased both books directly from Rob, one of the game fairs. He uses these recipes and these books to generate money to continue to run his charity called Pass It On Young Sports, himself and some of his friends. Their mission statement on their website says Pass It On is a volunteer non-profit making organisation that are passionate about getting both young and not so young people into the countryside via exposure to various countryside pursuits. If you feel you'd like to contribute, then please visit their website. You can purchase the books from there. Whether you do it because you want to contribute or whether you just want to have some really good recipes for game, it's up to you. But hopefully if you do buy them, you'll enjoy your cooking just as much as these scouts have. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.